guys, tonight we're gonna to be trying out Nature's Path Organics Sunrise Crunchy Maple. Salad. It's gluten free, so that means it's perfectly okay to eat the entire box of the cereal. So, so you guys know how I said I wasn't gonna be doing a lot of cereal reviews anymore. I lied. Alrighty guys, it's Saturday night. It is live stream night. It is like 7.30 right now. Got home from work. It's been an extremely long day, like usual. Um, I had a rough start to the day. Um, yeah, I'll talk about that later if I do get to that. But um, I'm gonna be making some food and making something different. And then of course the live stream. So stay tuned for it guys. Alrighty guys, this is just a quick workout from my deadlifting session that I have. I believe this was on Saturday. Uh, this was super super quick. I got in got out and uh, got what I needed I uh, got to 370 for a double here And this is the best that my deadlifts have felt in a long long time So uh, I'm just keeping the mental cue of just just ripping it off the floor and uh, my grip is actually starting to really make a difference for these um, That's the main really the main real thing I wanted to note and I'm actually thinking about picking up a uh, actual widget belt from Inzer, an actual um, lever belt. So that'll be probably happening soon. Other than that, really not too much to say about the workout other than hitting 370 for two felt awesome. Stay tuned for the rest of the video, guys. You guys a little shout out so boom shout out to everybody on the live stream right now it's saturday hell yeah loyal subscribers right there 61 people watching right now boom Alrighty, guys tonight we're gonna be trying out nature's path organics sunrise crunchy maple uh i'm actually really excited to try this out it's gluten free so that means it's perfectly okay to eat the entire box of the cereal so um <laughs> Anyways, um, Nature's Path, they actually make really good cereals, so uh, yeah, let's get right to it. So you guys know how I said I wasn't gonna be doing a lot of cereal reviews anymore. I lied. This one's definitely interesting, I'll say that. It's almost too grainy for me. Really like the texture to be completely honest. I love the flavor. It doesn't give really a maple flavor. It's a sunrise crunchy maple, but it gives more of like a, I will say it gives more of like a honey type of flavor to it. It's got buckwheat, corn, rice, all that puffed goodness. I do like that. That's pretty much the only part about this I do like. Overall rating for this cereal, five out of 10. But before I go to sleep, I decided to make some, don't worry, it's vegan friendly, a hot chocolate protein pudding. It's delicious. A chocolate protein pudding, recipe coming soon. Yeah guys, don't leave your shirts at home. Now we're good to go. Alrighty, and then we hit squats. So this was on Sunday after work. And uh, most notably with this one, I actually was able to get uh, 245 and that was for, um, I'm working within the three to five rep range. So if uh, my top sets are within that range and I'm able to do it controlled in a uh, form that's, or with form that's not breaking down, my upper chest isn't falling underneath the bar, I'm actually, I'm really happy. So considering that I wasn't able to really get uh, 225 for even more for uh, more around three reps, uh, with proper form um, a few weeks ago with with this I was actually really stoked to be able to, to put up the numbers that I'm doing right now with this rep range so other than that really not too much to take note of but just had an awesome session stay tuned for the rest of the video guys
That's what happens when you bring your tofu, guys. Ooh, that crispy tofu. Veggies. And my jasmine rice. Alrighty folks, it's 512 and as you can see, it's raining out in San Diego, California right now. Just got out of class, got my hoodie on, the whole deal. Um, yeah, I got some stuff to do, I have a horrible headache. Today's just been a Monday. And I'm actually about to get this hair trimmed up. So next time you guys see me, you'll see all of this gone. Boom. Check it out. That's it guys, quickest haircut of my life. Uh, went shorter on the sides, but what I'm trying to do is grow this out a little bit longer up here, but it is what it is Yeah Alrighty guys, it's time for the weekly target run. Let's do it Alrighty guys, what's up? So I just got out of Target. I didn't really get much to Target, just a few things, uh, so I didn't bother filming inside. So I really wanted to talk about uh, something that's come about lately and uh, it's been discussed, not just in my videos, but in a lot of other videos too, is the uh, the whole nutrient deficiency uh, debate and how quote unquote common it is to happen uh, among people that don't consume animal products, meat, anything like that. And um, I actually wanted to see really where I stand in terms of uh, the micronutrients I take in and vitamins I take in on a daily basis. Um, so what I did is actually plugged in my uh, my daily diet and I'm actually gonna post that right here for you guys so you guys can check it out. Um, so I posted that, or plugged it in, I should say, uh, into a website called Chronometer. Uh, if you guys have heard of it before, it's actually a pretty good way to uh, not just gauge your macronutrient intake, but also your micronutrient intake as well. So I plugged it into there, and just what I eat on a daily basis, and obviously you guys will see how many calories I eat, because that gets asked almost never. Uh, <laughs> So, plugged it in there and uh, it was pretty cool to see. I'm pretty much meeting all of my requirements. You can pretty much get all of your vitamins and required micronutrients through plant-based foods. It's possible. Alrighty guys, back from class, back from the gym, back from the entire day. I'm gonna show you guys what I got at Target in the store, so let's do it. You guys are gonna have to agree with me that I needed a new one of these, so. This is the new one right here, and this is the new cereal that I'll be trying out. This is the Pumpkin Raisin Crunch from good old Nature's Path Organic, so I'll be trying that out tonight. Also, big shout out to Mr. Brian Turner. I saw these and I really wanted to give him a shot. Um, I am gonna be honest, I'm pretty skeptical with these, the barbecue wings from Gardein, so I'll be trying those out as well. And also saw this at Target too. Um, this is the vanilla. Yes, the vanilla unsweetened cashew milk, so giving that a shot as well. Uh, just the other basic essentials here, scrubbers, olive oil, going my coffee in the mornings and stuff is legit. And then I'm actually doing a lot more stuff with coconut milk lately, so tasty pie, shout out to you. Boring bag, we just have some shaving cream. I need to get more productive lately, so I'm gonna be keeping these next to my computer. Garlic powder. And just some razors, gluten-free, crackle bread, multi-grain. Uh, those look pretty good. Since it was so good, I decided to get it again. Veganese. Veganese. Other essentials, black beans. I'm gonna be making something a little bit different tonight, so that's gonna give you a little sneak peek. Yes, it is related to pizza. Sugar-free syrup. More coconut milk. That's it. This is gonna go along with dinner perfectly tonight, top ramen. But is it vegan though? Semi serious. Um, broccoli. And we have some fruit for work tomorrow apples, pears, all that jazz. Dates. I haven't told you guys how much I love dates already. Seriously though. Onions to go with tonight. Then we have tofu, the usual, that over there. And then some Brussels sprouts right here. 
and snap peas. That is what I'm rocking with right now, guys. Stay tuned for the next part of the video. I'm actually gonna be trying out something new tonight. Uh, something I don't eat very often at all. You guys will recall my German candy challenge that I did a while back. I actually received these and this looks to be like a black bean um, pasta, I think, like whole wheat or something like that. But um, regardless, I've had it in my pantry for a while and I haven't gotten around to trying it, so I really wanted to give it a shot. I don't ever, ever, ever eat pasta. So I'll be doing that. Uh, tofu and of course I'm gonna be trying out barbecue wings, so I'll be trying that out tonight Skeptical Eric is skeptical And you guys know this is about to get good Alrighty guys, it's time to see if skeptical Eric is still skeptical. Wow. They're actually like real wings. I will admit I am a pasta noob, so it's probably not gonna taste good, but whatever. Better than I thought. I just might have to start having pasta more often. Alrighty folks, so we're back at it again with another cereal review. We're gonna be doing uh, Nature's Path Organics Flax Plus Pumpkin Raisin Crunch tonight. So this looks like Raisin Bran to me, which is why I grabbed the cereal right off the aisle and it's brand new, so uh, let's get to it. Being a Raisin Bran fanatic, I'm very excited to give these a shot. Let's do it. That is definitely good. So the first thing that I noticed is that the raisins in this one, they're a little bit chewier, but they, as crazy as it sounds, they taste a lot sweeter. Yeah, this is definitely, a, uh, this is a winner, guys. Uh, I love the Nature's Path Flakes. Just because they're they're definitely um, they're, it's like a different texture to them. I mean, you can go get normal raisin bran, have traditional wheat flakes, and it's just it's they're they're pretty thin, they're light, but these are definitely a lot chewier. So I, I definitely love the texture of these. That's where the crunch is at right there. Boom. Overall rating, guys, eight out of ten here. <laughs> 